What's up guys, it's Brainsmax here, back in with another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how you can make a daisy server on your Linux VPS, but keep in mind that the server will be an experimental phase, that uh, that means the developers are still testing uh, the Linux hosting, and uh, uh, I think the server should work fine, but if you find any bug or issues, and uh, you can just uh, join the code and help and get the help from the developers, or you can just contact me, and I'll be happy to help. And if you find any bugs, but uh, I'm sure that the server will run surely fine. And let's start the video. So first of all, you need to you need Putty to uh, you need Putty on your computer. So to to download Putty, you need to go into this link. So I'll put I'll every link on the description of this video. So go check them out. So just go into this link and just download Putty. So just choose whatever operating system you have and. Uh, just download it okay so after downloading and installing putty just open putty like this and just put the IP address of your server and just open the host uh, like let's say this is my IP address of our VPS so just open it and the server will say like this and so log in as a root or whatever username you got from your hosting company and just put on the password and you will be on this page okay so as we are logged in as a root user so after everything is done, you can just close out this tab and you need to go into this link. So we are using Linux Game Server Manager to automate everything. So we don't need to put a lot of commands right now. So it is just a command line tool for a quick, simple deployment of the server. So let's get started. So once you are here, let's go into this. Uh, you can just read it out if you want. So the minimum distros, uh, is Ubuntu 18.04 and Debian 10 and CentOS 8. Okay, so currently we are running Debian on our VPS we got from Jap Hosting. So I'll also be putting the affiliate link of Jap Hosting on the description of this video. So do check them out, guys. Jap Hosting provide a great server for very cheap prices, and uh, I'll also be putting 50% or I think 20% off discount voucher code uh, in the description as well. So just go into dependencies and choose whatever operating system you have. If you have Ubuntu, just put Ubuntu, and if you have Debian, just choose Debian. So currently we are using Debian 10, so we need to copy every code here and just paste it here like this. Just right click and it will paste and just and it will automatically do everything just for you. You don't need to do anything at all, guys. So everything uh, once it's done, it is going to install. So what? right now what we are doing is we are creating a user for the easy server because uh, running server on a root user is very uh dangerous guys because the server can get attacked and uh so we need to create a user for our server you can put any name you want but you can use daisy as a reference and it's telling us to put password you can use any password you want or you can leave this out but i'll recommend you to use this password and save it somewhere else because in the future if you need to edit any configuration of our system you need to go into the uh the server user so you need to put this password okay let's paste it by right clicking it and enter okay you, you can put your name if you want but i'm just skipping right now let's put enter is the information correct of course it is so once we are done we can just change our user to DG server. So we are inside our DG server right now, and we can just uh, we need to now grab the Linux GSM thing. And once it's done, we can just uh, type DG server and install. So it will it will download your DG server files automatically on your VPS, and you don't need to do anything at all. And you just need to sit back and relax and just give it time. So I'm pausing the video right now and I'll be back once it's done. So welcome back guys. So once it's done, you can just, uh, uh, it will show like this. So you do need to continue. The server directory is home and the server. Of course, we are ready to go now. And it is creating our log directory and every config file. And it's checking the dependencies and we are missing two dependencies right now. So don't worry about it. Just uh, what you need to do now is you need to copy this thing. Uh, the dependencies we are missing. This now Control C to copy and get back. 
refreshing logout and we need to install this dependencies on our root user because we cannot install a dependency on our DG server user because it doesn't have the authorization okay guys so now let's uh, right click and it will install the missing dependencies for you so i think it's done now we can change our user to DG server to start our server so we are inside DG server now we need to press install and it's saying that we we already have the server installed here but we still need to continue because we failed uh, the previous time so now it will take the dependencies and we are still missing two dependencies right now i don't know what we are missing right now let's copy this once more press click now i think it's okay uh, I think now it should work. Generally, it doesn't fail, but if it fails, you just do like just uh, copy what I did, and you'll be able to fix the issue. And uh, I think now the problem should be fixed by now. Yep, we need to continue. Now everything is installed okay guys so we have uh, now every dependencies that we need it's installing daisy server on your system so sit back and relax and let it do its job because it's it's automatic everything so I'll post the video right now and I'll be back once it's done hello guys welcome back so once it's done uh, if it's it's complete you can just press Y and it will continue the server and it is now downloading the configs for your server and uh, I think the server should be ready now so and if you want to edit your configuration file for your DG server you just uh, can't go download FileZilla and uh, uh edit your configs for your server okay guys so so uh, i think we are now done here and the server is now ready you can check the control uh the server console to see the control of your server and continue as you can see the server is now running fine and uh, you can just connect to the server using uh, uh you can just go here in servers and uh you can just uh connect your server to filezilla and uh, uh, and uh, you can edit your server files. It's not FTP. Wait a bit. Okay, we have this. Okay. So we are logging in our root server and get back and go inside home. Where is home? And daily server. And server files. And as you can see, we have everything right now here, and you can change the DG settings. And uh, there we have our DG file. This is our server files. Server DG.config file. This is our configuration file. You can just drag this out, and uh, you can uh, go inside this. Let's let's drag them. G drive C okay because server daisy file or a notepad okay you can change your server name from here like uh, let's say let's drag drag this files to our desktop so it will be easier to edit and uh, upload to our server okay so you can change the server name here uh, inside this quotation like let's say let's call the server to this server and you can put the password if you want and password for admin let's say 
like let's say this is the password to have the to become the server admin so if you want to enable a whitelist and max players and you can see we can change a lot of things here and server time uh, if you see some time that that means it is it will use the local time of the machine and everything you can ch change anything let's say and this control s to cop i mean uh, save and uh, uh let's track this file so like it recently on the desktop right so we can also change this settings uh so okay we don't tell you this all guys right now because uh we are not okay we only need to edit this file because uh it is the configuration file and we don't need to uh edit the tz settings file right now and uh once it's done we need to i think we need to stop the server right now and uh after uploading we'll we will open the server back on to have our name edited and everything edited on the server so in the next video guys i'll be installing uh mods on our server and i will show it uh I'll make a video of it if you guys want just comment down below and I'll be happy to make it okay guys so let's start the server okay you can just drag it or double click and the server is now started so server is now ready guys so you can check if the server is running or not by adding the server from here where is our server IP this is our server IP and the fine game so as you can see the server is now ready and uh, you can just add the server to your history and favorites will be added so you can just connect through the server from here let's say where is our server And add the server from here or you can just uh, connect the server from the okay so this is the server right now guys and you can directly come and connect to the server from here and or uh, you can add this server to the favorites, so it will be visible inside the game as well. So thank you for watching the video, uh, video guys. I uh, hope you guys like the video. And so if you have any problems with adding a server or connecting to the server, just comment down below and I'll be happy to help out. So I'll also be making a new video on uh, installing mods on your DG server. So let me know in the comments down below if you need help with it. And uh, it's uh, use our affiliate code and just um, purchase the server from Jap hosting using my link on the description below so you'll get um, also get a voucher code of 20% discount and I'll also get some rewards points for it because um, this is the affiliate link and I'm um, uh, affiliate of Jap hosting so I'll be happy that if you purchase them from them because they provide the server with a very good specs specification on very good price so yeah thank, thank you for watching the guys thank you for watching the video guys so i hope you guys like the video so comment down below if you have any help with anything and i'll be happy to help so, have a good day guys